currently, I have nine 3D printers. But none of them have made me as excited as my newest purchase, the Bamboo Lab P1P. What's up everyone, Jake here. I've had the P1P up and running for less than 24 hours, but I couldn't wait any longer to let you know my first impressions. Before checking out these initial test prints, let's compare some of the important specs with my other printers. The 3D printer market has a huge range of pricing. On the low end, you can get an Ender 3 or Ender 3 V2 like this for about 200 bucks. The next level, 250 to 500 bucks, is when you start getting bigger printers like the Sidewinder and CR10. And the Bamboo Lab P1P and Anchor Make M5 start getting into the upper level of consumer printers at $699 and $799 respectively. In a future video, I'll be going into more detail about these levels and where even more expensive printers like the X1C and Prusa Mark III fit in. So make sure to subscribe for that. The biggest separator between printers is build volume. The P1P is 256 millimeters cubed. That volume is about average compared to the other printers I own. The M5 is a little bit smaller at 235 by 235 by 250, and the Ender 3 V2 is 220 by 220 by 250. I have four printers that are 300 by 300 by 400, but I rarely need all that build volume. So I'm pretty happy with the P1Ps, and I think it will be a good size for most users. Something else I weigh heavily when buying printers is how much setup is required. On one end, you can fully build a printer like Vorons. Then there's Prusas that come in kits, and even Ender 3s take about an hour to build. But the Bamboo P1P was ready to go in less than 15 minutes. That's a huge benefit for beginners that don't have the knowledge or desire to build something yet. Or maybe you're buying multiple printers, and that can save you a lot of setup time. There's a thousand other details I want to talk about, but I'll save those for future videos. Now, let's look at some of my first prints. I started with the Benchy that was pre-sliced on the SD card. The Benchy was printed in the Bamboo Lab Matte PLA that is included with the P1P, and what's cool about this spool is that it's refillable. So ideally, we can buy replacement filament, and that should reduce costs and trash from the new cardboard or plastic spools. Since it was pre-sliced, I don't know how many walls, top and bottom layers, or in full percentage it was printed with, but it printed in about 25 minutes. If I printed this exact same STL on my Sidewinder, it would take about an hour. Although the white Benchy is missing the smokestack because I accidentally snapped it off, the rest of the print is very clean. I also printed it in Lime Green Matter Hackers PLA to see how the settings would transfer over. The green Benchy did end up popping off the build plate, but when you're going at such extreme speeds, something like that isn't very uncommon. The gray Benchy was printed on the Anchor Make M5 in about 35 minutes, so a little bit slower than the P1P, but you can see that the quality is almost identical. The next thing I printed is one of my most popular products I sell on my website, the M12 Rover Cover. Currently, I print these with a 0.6mm nozzle on my CR10, and it usually takes about an hour and a half. The Rover Cover printed on the Bamboo Lab P1P with a 0.4mm nozzle printed in about 45 minutes. So in addition to the quality being better because it was printed with a smaller nozzle, it also printed faster. After printing in the white PLA, I switched over to black PTG. And it's super easy to switch out filament using the load and unload buttons in the feeding menu. The first thing I 3D printed are these custom small organizer bins I sell on my website. The one on the left was printed on my Ender 3 V2 and the one on the right is printed on the P1P. As you can see, there's slightly better detailing because of the 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and it was still printed a little bit faster. 45 minutes on the P1P versus about an hour on the Ender 3. This tool tray is a pretty complicated part. It's big, has lots of holes for tools, and also needs to have very good dimensional accuracy for the handler slots and cleats that work with the rest of my products. The tool tray on the bottom was printed on the AnchorMake M5 with a 0.6mm nozzle. So that explains the slightly worse detail, but it was still printed slightly faster at 1 hour and 52 minutes. The P1P wasn't far behind though at 2 hours and 10 minutes. 
so I'm really excited to see how it performs with a bigger nozzle. And the last comparison print I have is made from TPU. TPU is a flexible filament that is usually difficult to print on most printers. This bin was printed on the AnchorMake M5 with a 0.4mm nozzle. It was actually printed faster than the bamboo, but I know it can reduce that by tweaking the bamboo slicer settings, something I'll be doing over the next few weeks. My first TPU print on the bamboo didn't go very well because the filament actually got stuck around the spool holder. The spool holder is really the only complaint I have so far. The placement is a bit awkward for replacing spools, and I didn't notice the problem because I couldn't see it. The filament fell off the spool and got wrapped around like so. But after I fixed the spool and restarted the print, this is how it came out with the TPU pre-made profile. It's not perfect, but not a bad start. I should be able to tune this and make it much cleaner. So far, I'm really impressed with this machine, and I think I'm going to have a hard time deciding on how I'm going to use it. One reason why I got it is for prototyping because of how fast it is. But after using it for a little bit, I think I might have to turn it into a production machine because of how high quality the prints are coming out. Over the next couple weeks, I'll be doing a lot of testing before the in-depth comparison video. Make sure to comment below any questions or thoughts you have about this printer that I can address in that video. And as always, smash the like button, Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of future 3D printing and tool content. See ya!